Hey guys, this is Mark Rodriguez, and I'm going to tell you about something that happened in the world of comic books, mostly in the world of Batman comic books. I'm just relaxing here online, cruising, and my friend Jake tells me, what do you think of the new Batman Incorporated number 8? What do you think what happened there? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? And he's like, well, go check it out. And I found out that, yes, Damian Wayne, the newest Robin, is now officially dead. And it surprises me, because I feel the character really hasn't been around long enough and isn't enough, like, to make an impact, not just in the comic world, but, like, outside the comic world, you know? Let me explain real quickly for people that are saying, what, what Robin, or whatever. Um, for people that don't know so far, there has been more than one Robin throughout um, Batman's history. It's not just the goody-goody, you know, holy Joker traps, Batman, from the old Adam West show, okay? The first Robin was Dick Grayson, which is... Kind of sort of corny, cheesy Robin we know. But later he grew up and became more badass and he became Nightwing. Yeah. And the uh, second Robin was Jason Todd. And, well, things didn't exactly work out for well for him. He, he got killed by the Joker. But he came back later in present day. He got better. And he became the Red Hood. And now he's a hero fighting alongside Starfire and stuff. And then we have the third Robin, which is Tim Drake. You might remember him. He appeared in some of the Batman cartoons. And he's appearing also in the current Young Justice cartoon. In the comic, now he's his own hero named Red Robin. Yum! And, um, you know, so he has his own thing right there. After that, we have Stephanie Brown, which is the first official female Robin in the modern, you know, DC, I guess. She didn't really... Last too long, didn't go too well for her, for Robin. Then she became the new Batgirl, which also didn't last long because when the comics turned into the whole New 52 thing, now they want to act like if Stephanie Brown and Cassandra Kane no longer exist and Barbara Gordon was the only Batgirl like ever. That's kind of fucked up. And of course, if you do count the alternate future realities that Dark that um, Frank Miller created with the Dark Knight Returns, we have Carrie Kelly, and of course you've seen her in the recent Dark Knight Returns Part One and Part Two on DVD. But anyways, after that, Batman had another Robin, which is basically the, his son, his actual son, unadopted like Dick and them were adopted. This is his actual son from him and Talia Al Ghul named Damian Wayne. And, well, he thinks he's all that, and he became Robin, basically forcing himself. Tim Drake was Robin at the time, so he basically, he almost killed him to take over the role and everything. Because he was basically trained by Ra's al Ghul and Talia al Ghul's League of Assassins, so he has that mindset. And yes, I understand, he's a bit of an asshole. I know lots of people didn't like the character. I bet you lots of people out there watching this right now are happy and dancing that he's finally dead. And so some people just plain don't want Batman with a Robin anymore. Some people just hated Damian Wayne. Or some people just prefer Tim Drake to have been as Robin without Damian taking over. And, well, that's his character, okay? That's his character. I have no problem with it. Yes, he was a jerk. He was an asshole. He was arrogant. He was a snide little shit, you know. But that's his character. I kind of saw him as a, as a childish human version of Vegeta that is very proud and is just arrogant and prideful and all of that stuff. I mean, he, he faces like Killer Croc one-on-one. -on -one. He's about to die. Someone saves him and he'll still be like, huh, I don't need your help. I have him right where I wanted him and everything. So, originally he was supposed to infiltrate, you know, be good with Batman and stuff and kill him from the inside, but eventually he, he left his mother's wishes and he wanted to be a good guy. He wanted to be a hero. And of course, the big thing is with Batman and Robin, he became, you know, when Batman was <clears throat> dead, sorta, Dick Grayson became Batman and, and Damon became Robin. And it was kind of a backwards thing because we have Dick Grayson as, as now as a more happier, cheerful, bright Batman and Damon as a darker, killer Robin. And when Batman came back and the whole New 52 and all that bullshit started, we had Batman, the, the real Bruce Wayne Batman and Robin. And people were complaining that, well, we've got a dark Batman and a darker Robin. But I like that. I, li I like the interactions between father and son. It was different because when it comes down to it, it's still your actual flesh and blood, you know? So anyways, I don't know, guys. I just think it was way too soon to kill him off. I think his character didn't have time to develop. I think, I mean, it took him time to warm up to Dick Grayson, and now that his dad actually came back. Some people say his character regressed, he became a bastard again, but, I mean, it's just different. 
You know, he had this thing, he, he has this thoughts that, that working with his dad was so cool, but his dad, you know, died before he had the chance. Now Bruce Wayne came back, now he sees that it's not that cool being Batman's son or sidekick with his super strict rules, because you know Batman's a strict and paranoid bastard and everything. So, I like how they were developing, I like how they were getting together, and it just ended too quick. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, the new 52 barely started, guys. We're still like... We're like in issues like twenty something. We're not even in, we're not even into issue fifty yet. You know, just started. And if they kill Damien off so soon, he I mean he's gonna become basically just a little footnote in the New Fifty Two history. That's another thing. I know that Grant Morrison's story kind of sort of ignores the other comics and just kind of goes its own route. For example, one of the issues still had Stephanie Brown in it, while the New Fifty Two ignores her existence. But no, he demands that since Damien died in the story, he's going to be dead in all the other comics. And I think this month, all the comics are going to have, like, Batgirl crying and Nightwing affected and, and you know, the Red Hood. Everyone's going to have some kind of reaction to Robin dying in that Batman Incorporated comic book. And, and I mean, well, first of all, what's even going to happen to the Batman and Robin comic? I mean, you can have an issue or two of Batman Morning or whatever, but if he's gone for good and, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. I, they can't have... Tim Drake, well, he's with the Teen Titans, I guess you can quit and come back as Robin, but he's already read Robin, it would, it would be kind of like to step backwards to be back to being Batman's psychic instead of being a solo superhero, but I just don't understand, guys, and I just don't, I just don't like it, I think it's way too soon, I know it's Grant Morrison's original plan, he was the one to create a character, he was the one that started the whole Leviathan storyline, everything happened from Batman and Son, to the Dark Love, to the Batman and Robin comics, to the current uh, Batman and Corporate, all that was Grant Morrison's idea, I just, I don't know, I think it's too soon. I think, I mean, I would have loved to have seen Damien in an anime cartoon show. I would have loved to have seen him in one of those, like, DC anime movies. Like, if they made, like, the Batman and Son anime movie, like, they've been doing so good with these later, these latest movies, like, Under the Red Hood, The Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and Part 2, The Justice League Doom, all the stories have been so awesome. I would have loved to have seen Damien in there, but, unfortunately, I think he's going to just become a very forgettable character. You're never going to see him in a live-action movie. I mean, hell, we haven't even seen Jason Todd or Tim Drake in a live-action Batman movie. I think we're never going to see that. So that's one of my biggest things. I just don't, I don't know. I mean, even the newer Batman cartoon is coming out sometime this year, the Beware the Batman, has these more modern villains that have been coming out lately, like Professor Pig. And Professor Pig's a villain that has been fighting against um, Damien. So it's like, it's just a shame. It's, it's just a shame. I think it's too fast. I think, unfortunately, his character is going to be too forgettable. I think lots of people are not going to ever know that Batman had an official son and a Robin that was a son and a fifth Robin. I don't know. I just think it's way too soon, guys. It's just my thoughts, and I know it's Grant Morrison's idea all along. He did have Robin die in the line of duty like a hero and all that, and I'm sure it's epic. I'll get to read it soon, but I, I just think the character just died too soon. And those are my thoughts. I think he didn't have enough time to branch out as a character and to be known more in outside media. I know it was a Damian Wayne and the Batman Brave in the Boat episode. Yeah, that was just Damian Wayne in name only. That doesn't fucking count. Okay? Does not fucking count. So, that's all I gotta say, guys. You can leave your thoughts below. If you got, I know a lot about the Batman stuff. If you got any other questions about the other Robins and stuff, I can answer them down here. You can leave your comments below. If you think that if you think that Damian Wayne should have died so soon, or if you guys are glad that he died already, oh, this fucking little brat died already, or whatever, you guys give me your thoughts and opinions, but I, I think it was too soon. I think it was too soon, and it was a waste of a great character before he had time to develop. It's kind of like Batgirl. She was doing so good, the Stephanie Brown Batgirl, before New 52 just came out of nowhere and said, you know, you don't exist anymore, fuck you, it's just Barbara Gordon now. There was never ever a Stephanie Brown, or a Cassandra Kane for that matter. She was also a badass Batgirl. So just give me your, your thoughts, guys. Any thoughts on the untimely demise of Damian Wayne? May he rest in peace. Or let's see if he comes back or whatever. And will there be a sixth Robin? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see, guys. Just let me know. This is Mark Rodriguez signing off.